Hello everybody, my name is Indo4 and welcome back to Fierce Fathom on the second last episode called Norwood Hitchhike. Let's get into it. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Well, as long as you didn't post it on Twitter, then you should be fine. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Hey, me too. I was one of those... Oh, no. I'd go to every convention i get the chance to. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. I couldn't last a 5 hour drive. Zang. Oh, straight into it. I'd sure love to crash in one of those trees, that'd be cool. <laughs> Be the first hug I had received in years. This song goes hard, kinda. Not my type of music, but. Or is it? I don't know. What I'm trying to say is it sounds good. Oh. I'd love to. Cr I could have crashed into you, you know? It was text, whatever. Don't text and drive, kids. Not a good idea. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, Zion. That is crazy. Oh, wow. I. Wow, the car slowed down significantly. Or is that just me? Let me guess we're gonna stop on like some creepy gas station or something like that. Cause in the um uh, in the game's main page I think I saw a gas station, I'm not sure. It's a kind of thing. Norwood hitchhike, I mean it's gonna be a hitchhike I assume. I mean it'd be pretty counterproductive if it wasn't a hitchhike, it was just something completely out there, uh, yeah, and my car is dead. A little seconds more and this thing is just gonna stop. Yep, see, I told ya. We're gonna stop at some creepy gas station. Ow, that is quite bright. You talk too much, now you fucked up. I don't ever think you thought that your luck sucked. Yeah, you have no fucking Alright, let's just get out. Ooh, this is a nice car. Anyways, what do I need? What do I need to do? I need to fill my car with gas or do I need to go in here? I'll probably go in here. Not a gas station. Oh hello. Let's talk to you. Where are you headed? You just looked at me. Okay. Weirdo. <coughs> hello, sir. Ma'am. Hi, can I get ten dollars on pump too? I'll read the text messages later. Getting to the bridge by yourself? Yes, why? <laughs> Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Who is having a problem outside, bro? People who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up. And hung them upside down on trees. What is that? Well, thanks for gas. Yeah. But let's read some of these text messages. Who is this guy? Discord. <laughs> what? Yeah, let's see. I'll see if I can get the car. Let me know if I. All right. Well. Okay. The plan is on. Oh yes. Wait. You're getting the car. Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I got the skateboard too, saw this really cool skateboard nearby, sounds fun. Discord, where you are. Almost there. 
I don't see you. Peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if it... Wait, is your dad? I don't think so. Give me a Discord message. Not sure if it will be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? St another Discord message? Please. Oh, it's... Okay. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the century. That sucks with an X. It's not too good. It's not your dad. No one, no middle-aged man speaks like this. Not good here either. Oh yeah, I was making sure I'm stupid. From the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Whatever. Okay, you can piss off. This is my dad. Okay. We called. Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get her car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That Aiden, a friend. He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10-hour drive by yourself. Well. I've already made up my mind, I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where'd you reach? Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. I'll be alright, Dad. Holly? Mom? <laughs> Anyways. I have one more thing. You see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride? Do not stop. Step on gas hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was... Okay. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what do you think, man. They just ain't. Kinda true, but not that extreme, I'd say. What? I feel fine that you shop at this hour, but we're not you get some money. Okay, fine. You could have told me beforehand. Right. Where's the dog food? Dog food, dog food. Oh, here's dog food. That'll be five dollars, man. Alright, got my food. Time to leave. That's what I like doing. I think I'm supposed to just throw it in. No, I don't think that's how it works. Just put that in the boot. No. Do I need to pump the gas now or what? Assuming I'm gonna need to pump the gas, I still need to pump the gas still, right? I think this is the correct orientation of the car. No idea where the gas tank is. These car controls are a bit yucky. Good enough. Up, oh, stop. Let's hope that's good enough. So the pump is like three meters long. Oh yeah, it is. Thankfully, put the tank and I was off the road again. Yo, let's hope the car's off faster now. Still, the, still pretty slow, but a car is a car. What can I say? <laughs> All right, boys. 
I am back after that atrocious um, end. Not another car, maybe? Per chance? No? Okay, no car here. Good. So let's keep going. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. What? Monster truly do exist. Oh yeah, also, while I was uh, replaying this entire thing, because it, this, because it doesn't have like uh, chapters, sections, whatever. Oh, sorry for not reading the story, by the way. There was a weird, creepy guy walking in the forest. I didn't have uh, instant replay on because in uh, the uh, Iron Bark Lookout video, you could see my uh, little microphone and NVIDIA icons flickering. And I f at least I found that pretty annoying, so I just don't have instant replay on because of that. Oh. Mikaz flickering. What is that? Is that another car? I'm assuming. Or it could just be an ice cream sandwich with a platinum. It's a car. I think so, at least. Could be a UFO. Never know. Oh. Well, isn't that great? Someone, someone tampered with my car, most likely. And I cannot see a single thing. I have to rely on my intuition. Also, I put on Do Not Disturb mode on Discord, so... You guys won't be having to hear any of that. It's... Nope. My lights are working again. That's good. It is a 12 hour drive, but I'm assuming if it's late, we have to be somewhat close at least, right? Oh, it's just a dirt road or a stone road. A creepy wooden bridge. Alright, where is this? I don't- okay, this- I don't know if this is a wooden bridge or whatever. This reminds me a lot- this reminds me of a bridge from my childhood, kinda. Except it was two instead of one. One was for trains, one was for cars. Okay, this is... interesting. Okay... Someone definitely tampered with my car. Maybe they put, maybe they, maybe instead of like gas or oil, whatever you pump cars, diesel, maybe it was filled with piss, the tanks. My, so now my car is just going mentally ape crap. Oh, well, that's just great. Yeah, my car is tripping on balls right now. Tripping on acid and tripping balls. Any second now, the car is gonna break down and plop. I guarantee it. Just gonna explode, do a 180 degree turn, nothing else. Okay, there's an abandoned car. Not nah, good to know. I would have rather just. Oh. If I just ran over that rabbit. Luckily, it uh, ran. Past my car in time, bro. Oh, what is this? This looks really un. This look. What is this? I've entered a ghost town of some kind. There's this very weird thing about that night. It's not too big log in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to move them. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put, put those there. Those were heavy. Yep. They sure feel like it. Okay, that's one. Can I just like... Um... What's happening? Okay, it works like that. I th thought I had to click on it and drag. And I just have to have my mouse over it. Okay, good enough. 
Stop moving it! <laughs> oh, whatever. I had to move those logs to go. I, I did move those logs. What are you talking about? I have to move it this way or what? Come on, bro. There's probably some creepy ass guy watching me right now. And I'm too busy moving logs. Like, did you drive through that? Right? Stop moving it. Enough. Okay. There we go. Now let's drive past these big ass logs. I. I told you. I knew it. Well, what do I do now? I wonder. Looks like I'm gonna have to hitchhike. Oh no. Just like that, we're stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm. Not, what does it mean? I was starting to believe whatever the bull from that gas station clerk pulled up. But I would be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of one these. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but. Throughout my life, I also know to take advice from strangers. Put them up, but I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Probably not that long. It'll be fine. 10.23 p.m. I have no idea what time it was before. But yeah, I'm assuming like 5 to 10 minutes have passed. Oop. Which side though? It's likely this one. Yep. Ah, oh, you big fat wiener head. You're evil. I mean, can't blame him. I said don't take a ride with Frank. I don't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I mean, you can blame them. I mean, like. If they're like a resident or something, who wouldn't pick up? Who would pick up a hitchhiker randomly? You'd be, you could be a serial killer or I don't know, drug dealer. Maybe you could be a children, children's uh, cartoon singer. You never know. Th those are as bad as serial killers, by the way. It's like you know. <laughs> Maybe another car? No. Is that? That's a truck. Hello. Oh, he stopped. I think I have to go to him. I couldn't walk any slower. Hello. Hi, you're the girl from the gas station. Hi, thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Can't call for after his own phone service. Do you think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? This is near stop where I can call for help. Hop in. There we go, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. So I'm just leaving my car on the road. Nope. No, I'm not in the car. Pick up the stuff that's in the car. I only had two hands. Well, you can just throw the bag on your arm, bro. Carry more. Use your brain. There only takes like three IQ, maybe, maybe five, maximum of six. Dog poo it in the hat. Yes, the most important things. You can you can just put the hat on your head, man. If you have another hat, just it wouldn't hurt to have another one, right? If you're a normal person. You could carry all of that and like. One to two trips or something like that. Okay, maybe the skateboard, but I mean, like, I know it's a game, but most most people could carry this in like one to two trips, maybe three if you need it. There, all my stuff. We're happy to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, hop in, be quick. All right. 
let's let's hope we don't get murdered or killed. Do I need to talk to him? I don't think so. Yep, I definitely don't have to talk to him. That's nice. Uh, so you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I was driving home. That piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name is Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. It is nice to meet you. At least you picked me up and let me get all my stuff. That's pretty nice. I'd say we're getting off on the right foot somewhat. You're lucky I had to be on the side of the town at night. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? Got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was... It's an old car. That's it. I think so. I don't know. I was a battery, but I have no... I know nothing about cars. I can ask my other friend about that. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. The idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Can I have another dialogue, for chance? Maybe not. Oh. Something just lit up. I think that's just the game. Yeah, it's probably nothing. I guess, oh, so is it true, what the monster, let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them, hey listener, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this, you don't bother them, and don't be bothered, okay, pretty good in general life advice, don't bother if you don't want to be bothered, you know, Sorry for being jerked to you before. I'm not the best of people. That's yeah, fine. Why did I chose to say nothing? That is... That is quite... Rude of me. I don't know. And I would have said, it, said it's alright or... It's fine. Whatever. Oh. one two oh eight am After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said uh, ominously before leaving. It's not ominous, it's just, just normal. Hello. The man was putting out the creepiest times imaginable. Yeah, it does look kind of creepy. But I don't want to book by his cover. Y'all need a room to shack up for the night. How much is it for a room? $40 for single. Big ass only pay. Room number nine, right over there. Ninety dollar. Tommy will take care of the next thing in the morning. All right. So a total of one hundred thirty bucks. Could I let Tommy know? And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take it very nicely to it. Okay. Fair enough. Key room number nine. Uh, yeah, this is a motel. This was what I saw in the, uh, thing. I think. I don't know. What does that say? Oh, this is room number nine. I didn't even know. A oh, nice apartment side. Well, yeah, it's a room. Now oh, it's in the bathroom. Except there is a smell of type musk you get from it. Oh, hi. What's up? Who are you? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy. Room service here at the roadway and to find a stop or in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. 
pretty ominous of you, but wait. <laughs> Anyways, the guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Why are you slapping like that? I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I lick the room. I'll just get my stuff. Please wait outside for a second. I. Do we get bro? Sh chill out. Where's my stuff even? Well, I'm gonna assume it's somewhere. Uh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I, for, some, for some reason, I thought I left it in the car or something. Can I get to it at the same time? Nope. Oh, there we go. This is good aim practice. Nope. You can only pick up one at a time. Oh, there we go. Did it again. Oh, you look kind of creepy. I don't like that. I don't worry with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but yeah, have a good night. Thank you, too, Tommy. I could just close the door on you. Thank you for closing the door. Oh, the NPCs in this game look so terrifying, man. I can't. I'm assuming this is, this is his car because it's a tow truck. Okay, the food is flying. That is quite funny. Can I can I juggle the dog food? Oh, come on! Back to back. Oh no! The dog food always gets me, man. There we go. And back to back. Let's go. Let's throw that trash on the floor <laughs> okay less couple of things okay can I do it with these items the one back to back triple Quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, seventuple, eightuple, I have no idea, nine times, ten times? Oh, Close enough. Hey, there we go. That was kind of insane, not gonna lie. I'm gonna get cast into the next face clan thing. Only had two hands. Okay, I think that should, ow, should be everything. Now I just go to sleep. Oh no, someone's gonna be watching me through there. Who is that in me bathroom? Oh, I knew you, creepy bastard. But for there was something very off about that place. Not about that place, about the weirdo staying there, bro. Why is the water running? So why is there no sink here? Oh, the sink. I'm stupid. My bad. No one in here. What cup of coffee would help? I thought to myself. Is there not that weird creepy guy in there? Okay. Good to know. There we go. Is that coffee? Yeah, I'd assume so. Where's that weirdo, by the way? Where are you at? Couldn't just go into any room where we could knock on it. Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla, not available, hot chocolate milk. Let's say cappuccino, why is there no money pros? Why is there no, why does it cost nothing? That's weird. First red flag, but oh well, it's probably fine. Don't tell me it's gonna be drunk or something like that. Oh no. This is not a good sign. Oh, I told you. Why are my controls all mirrored? My mouse is backwards, everything is just... 
water. Am I? Is this what it feels like to trip balls? Yeah, I am tripping balls right now, bro. Save my room, bro. Shut up. Let me go to room. Is this my room? No. Why do all these have proper curtains and mine just has some crappy little blinds? No, I'm going backwards. Wow, this is awful. Well, I should be. Every day I should remind myself not to take acid. No, mine does have curtains. What? Oh my. Yeah, just go to sleep. That's awful. It reminds Siri for me not to take drugs ever again, because that was. <laughs> that was awful. 3 18 a.m. I was sedated. No, I think you were drug or sedate, whatever, same thing, kinda. Oh, who is, who is, it, who is telephone is that? Telephone? Hello? Hello? I pick up a f I pick up the phone and you just fart into it? Think that's funny? I'll tell your mother about it. You bit I hung up. Hello? Who there? Hello? Can I just go to sleep again? Nope, I guess. Not possible. Oh, hello? Oh, it's that guy. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Hello? Didn't I specially... Didn't I specific... Specific... I think it's specifically. Whatever. Tell you to not wake anyone up. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that where is it? the coffee machine. Oh no, was it not supposed to be there? Mandela effect? You're messing with me? You don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. <laughs> yeah, I'd also hate it if I... had to... deal with the... with an idiot like me. Yo, this is the fastest I can run, bro. Come on, man. Right here, bro. Could you walk a bit faster, please, sir? Go back to the room. What is it? I said go back now. <laughs> Why is he approaching me so menacingly? Hello? You're not your message. Okay. If you say so. I have a feeling he knows what's up, maybe. I will not question his authority, because he is the owner and he probably knows best. Probably, I say. Okay, under the telly. Nope. What is that? that some painkillers, I guess? It requires water. Okay. There's nothing in there. Looks like the water. Mmm, yummy, yummy pills. I love myself some Flintstones gummies. Okay, I guess now I'm supposed to go back to sleep? Yes? Now I just fall asleep? Or what? What do I do now? Oh. Who is that? 
You ain't welcome here, bastard. Oh, who are you, creepy bastard? Hello? Yeah, of course you wouldn't feel safe. Do nothing. Hello? Hello? I can't think I'm supposed to answer. Please open the door, I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please open- No! Don't open the door, please leave. I just need to talk to you. I promise I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Oh, nay! Oh, nay! Nay! Oh, peace. W, guy, bro. Good job, Joe. Today's day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected multiple reputation on the go of the situation. Believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. Never went on long road trips again. Yeah, no poo, bro. I would always take airplanes. I'd rather take an airplane, spend my spend an entire fortune than to experience that, but. Anyways, thank you very so much for watching. Click the annotation more videos that I've done, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.